Margaret! Uh, what are you mumbling about now? I told him! How's it riding? Not very good. I hear the most wonderful words in my head, and then I ride absolute poppycock. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> yeah, me too. My journal. I was reading some the other day. <laughs> I write like a fool. <sighs> One day I'd love a beautiful fountain pen and a great desk and a quiet room and to write the most beautiful stories. Well, I can't do much about the stories or the quiet room, but maybe I'll find you a pen. <sighs> Thank you. Well, you're certainly something. <laughs> Did you get me a glass of water? No. Go fuck yourself. Oh. Yeah. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna oh, hit that I bank I told you about? Oh, hello. Let's see. Hello, gentlemen. Hey. So... You and the girls got back all first right? First come, first served yeah. here. How'd you get on with that fellow go. who ran off on you? It's dealt with. Uh, thank you, miss. Thank you kindly. Don't uh, mind Karen. She's lovely, really. <laughs> if you say so, miss. I'm sure she is. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, Mr. Pearson, quite a country, quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world, far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. So that Arthur. Adler woman, she's sticking around? Looks that way, for now. You okay with that? Sure, I guess. She's had a tough time. Every time, Uncle. My Lord, I seen mushrooms with bigger brains. Oh, no. Here we go. So see, you're back to lazing about again. What are you talking about? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Roble, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I'll try and see about the debts. Very good. Okay. Goes without saying. What am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. So, Arthur, That's the truth of it. when I was in Valentine, nosing about, I think I found something interesting. What's that, Tilly? Well, I'm not exactly sure. Something about the doctor's office. There's something funny going on there. Saw a bunch of nasty boys going in and none of them coming out. Hmm. Thank you. Maybe I'll go take a look. Anything else? No. Just that. Well, keep looking. Will do. Oh, Miss Roberts. <laughs>
I know. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. Now, lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. Thank you. Of course. Is there somewhere we can take her? I don't think she has anyone. Uh, poor woman. No. Uh. I am mighty glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh, I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> Me too. Howdy. All right, simmer down. Hey there, mister. Doing a fine job. You! Explain yourself in this damage! Calm down, will you? One day, you could get promoted to being a scarecrow. We don't need your kind around here. Beatrix Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> yeah. Damn it! Hey! Get back here! You owe us money! Ha. You don't want to get me angry, boy! Jeremy shouldn't have lent me then. Yeah! You okay, boy? The more I chase, the more you owe! Much further. I'll get more than a dead off you. <laughs> You're too slow, old man. Last chance to save your hand. Stop! Leave it, all right? Not so fast, man. Taking your teeth as well. Save me. You got the map. Do the decent thing. Almost perverse. Seems polar opposite or romantic. Well, I don't know. Some lady I was speaking to in town told me about a curse. A curse? Now nothing's more romantic than a curse. <laughs> exactly. The prince turned into a toad, lovers into stone, entire country turned into morons. Curses everywhere. What's Valentine's curse? Well, I didn't quite understand what the woman was saying, kind of her being a bit of an idiot, but some about a massacre and a last surviving Indian cursing the county. Well, if they massacred people, then they deserve to be cursed. Of course. You believe in curses, Arthur? No. I believe in bullets and not too much else. You soulless wretch. But what was it? W was it just... Bad luck or bad weather or something else. 
Something about an eagle or an owl. And gravesite. I didn't really get it. Well, I think it sounds very interesting. You gonna pass out in your own shit again? Oh, give it a rest, Morgan. You bring in no money and drink ten times your share. Why have you got a problem with me? You're like a goddamn tick, sucking us dry. I'm very good at ignoring people. Hey, you son of a bitch. Hey, how you getting on there, John? Good. Oof. The scar looks pretty. Yeah. Ruined my fine features. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. I know you'd save me. Of course. I owe you. For life. You and Arthur. Thank you. Again. gotta be such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's gotta be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Money, oh, leave me this. alone. I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. What do you want? I've got nothing to say to you. Maybe you should think about the kinds of men you're friendly with, miss. You've got your money. I don't have to listen to your wisdom, all right? So long. Always something going on right here. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong. That's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man. Me too. Me too. It's just... It's so embarrassing. Good morning, Arthur. It happens. After Bessie passed away, Come I was drunk have a for a seat, year. Morgan. I wouldn't worry We're too discussing much about ladies' it. bloomers. <laughs> you know something? I Back was already married him once. You all right? You were? <sighs> Only it turns out that she was already married, so I was a party to bigamy. <sighs> Just another sin to add to my list. <clears throat> what happened? <laughs> The law caught up with us in San Francisco. She jumped aboard a ship and sailed to Shanghai, I believe. I suppose I still am married in a way, but it hasn't been terribly fulfilling. 
No. I suppose not. Hello, Arthur. You okay? You know, this camp ain't so bad. Not bad at all. You having a bad day or something? No. Uh, I get it. We'll leave you alone. Well, I went, I was frisky. Over some potent whiskey. Like the waves of the bay of the biscuit. I began to tumble and roar. Knock, knock, Mr. Robo. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you me, speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, uh, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, nah, the Kaiserreich. I don't ja? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. No, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold, dollars. Nie rób tego. I have nothing. No, no, nie. Już nie mam siły. Nie, nie. Ah, no, 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 no. Please, no. I don't have money, but, but I have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there. Just suck a yes. no fudge. I'm very kind to the dash. Better be something somewhere. What do we have here? My old bronzka, yeah. Just keep quiet. He must have come here with something. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. The longer I look, the madder I get. I need, I must eat, Prosho. Okay, that should about cover things. Good morning. Hi, Molly. You know. I'm sure Grimshaw could use an extra pair of hands around here. Well, I'm nobody's serving girl, Mr. Morgan. Well, we all need to do our share. Uh huh. Yeah. Talk to you later. That's your lot. Morning, Mr. Morgan. A dry pair of boots, could you? Sure. You want a bottle of champagne with that too? Coming right up. You ain't whining again, are you? I ain't doing nothing. Because any more and I will cut your tongue out, you filthy rat. Don't do this, please. Mercy.
Come on. Mercy. You got some speaking to do of your own. Not that old gang of yours. I said, I told you, I don't know nothing. That's what I thought. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Killed him. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. But you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Any trouble at all, Sean? You oh. sharing saddle with an old Driscoll? On, Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and. You smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dutch said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? Instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do you. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman we were getting shot at and i'd do the same for you if you was in a bad way i hope so but i fear you don't know how to help anyone except in yourself you see o'driscoll if this is how he treats his friends imagine what he does to his enemies i got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts Bill, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. Those are the hills. Head for them. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the O'Driscolls. 
What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Hear, hear. I swear, this is where he was... Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. Settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Hey. There. There. You see? The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you strangers? Yup. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, It'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. Let's get closer. Chance of ages. I'll be stood guard. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. Soil on my drop. Person the spot. The next two. What's the plan? We're waiting. Keep back where they won't hear us. When I move, you move. Take them out at a distance. I can do that. the camp? I left our guide up there. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Tell her on the log. What are we doing about him? This one's mine. We need it done right. Go on and show us then.
Okay. Now what? We're at the perimeter. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Right you are. At least you got something tucked away. you as well. It's not calm. <laughs> calm. Uh, it's column. So, uh, In Ireland, me, I, I we believe. say column. Well, uh, <laughs> he likes calm. <laughs> he's American. <laughs> Boy, he's Irish. Just look Why at his name. Confused Just me a dumb Irish bastard who can't you know. pronounce his own name. <laughs> If you say so. I do say so. Call him O'Driscoll. Say it now. He likes coal. And you like breeding. So say, call him properly. 
It Call seems them. like I was born That's to better, boy. hurt. That's mm, better. By the way, has anybody seen my compass? I didn't know you had one. Yeah, yeah, I had it since my first day in the Navy. <coughs> Can't believe I'd gone and lost it. Mm. Well, keep my eye out for another one. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. You know, the amount we move around, it's a useful thing to have. Sure. You borrow from the O'Driscoll boys, you pay the O'Driscoll mm -hmm. boys. <laughs> I guess you forgot about the interest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey! Quit this damn foolish! <laughs> what you staring at? Looks like you need a lesson. <laughs> Eat that! Every one of us O'Driscoll's gonna piss on your grave! <laughs> here maybe this is our man you a bounty hunter mister maybe it depends well i'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day turn yourself in or discuss the finer points of county law then i don't need to know much more than that until i got a reason to all right you smell that this here's a livestock town mister Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kinda look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard, uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh, 
Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. <laughs> I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. There's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. Oh, 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 you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. Uh, Don't jump! Uh, or, or what? You can't shoot me! Uh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! Oh, really do not like you. Ah. Yeah. Look out, the rapids! Hold your breath! Help! 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 Got you, now. Come here. Come here. Uh, sir, I think I must be suffering from exposure. I seem to keep blacking out. Uh, you do seem to keep blacking out. Sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Why, who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. Well, we're going for a walk. you more oh my lord i wasn't expecting you back so soon uh mrs calthorpe was uh was just leaving sure where you want him i'm selling the back oh. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake i never did it any of it i thought i told you to shut up partner but i told but you but nothing shut up and uh good luck it's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Now, please, remember what I told you.